Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we are in our math journals on page 11. This is Unit 1, Lesson 5, and we are looking at estimating sums and differences. Now this uh, builds off of the rounding lessons that we've been working on over the past couple of days. Um, and it's going to uh, help us come up with a reasonably sized answer for both addition problems and subtraction problems. Let's read the instructions for number one. It says, read the number stories, choose the appropriate estimation strategy. Now, I'm highlighting the word number stories for just a moment, because when we deal with number stories, there is a strategy that we use to help us walk through the problem, and it's called RUCAS, R-U-C-A-S. Now, RUCAS is an acronym, and an acronym is basically a word built from the first letter of several words that go together kind of like the FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, or NASA, the National Aeronautical Space Administration. Now, the people who work at the National Aeronautical Space Administration would get tired having to say that name over and over, so they came up with an acronym, N-A-S-A, NASA, to make it easier on everyone. So when I talk to you about ruckus, which you will hear me do frequently... RUCUS is an acronym that stands for reread the number story, underline the question or questions, circle the important information, come up with an action plan, and then solve. So I'm going to utilize RUCUS to help solve the first problem. Uh, so I'm going to reread the text in the problem. It says, workers in a toy factory make stuffed bears. The goal is to make at least 1,200 bears every three hours. In one hour, they made 447 bears. In the next hour, they made 453 bears. In the third hour, they made 458 bears. So I reread the problem. So now I need to underline the question. Now that you're going to notice that there are more than one question to problem one. So I'm going to just underline 1A, and I'm really going to highlight it for our purposes, like so. Did they meet the three-hour goal? So that's my question. So how do I find out if that's true? Well, I have to go back, and I have to figure out uh, what important information is needed to know and then come up with an action plan. So let's go back and look at the problem and see if there's anything important that I might want to remember. So for example, the goal was to make 1,200 bears. So we need to know if they, they accomplished that. And that goal was to do 1,200 bears in three hours. In one hour, they made 447 bears. In the next hour, they made 453. And the third, they made 458. So I have now underlined the first part of the problem, and I circled some important information. The goal was 1,200, and uh, they listed their hourly goals for three hours straight. So how do you get your answer? Well, we need to come up with an action plan. So our action plan is to round each of those numbers to the nearest hundred, and then we're going to come up with a strategy to solve it. Okay, So 447, 453, and 458. Now if I round each of those numbers to the nearest hundred, they all start with 4. So if I'm thinking about 4, 400, I'm going to put that right here, the next highest group of 100 would be 500, because 5 comes after 4. Now the halfway mark would be 450, because 50 plus 50 equals 100, 400 plus 100 would be 500, the halfway mark is 50. So now what I need to do is look at each of those three numbers and chart them on my roller coaster model of roundings because if it falls on this side of the hill on the right side of the hill gravity is going to pull that roller coaster of the number to the next highest group of 100 but if it's not quite up that hill uh 
to the halfway point is going to roll backwards down to 400. So 447 is less than 450. 447 this is just about three away from 450. 453 is three more than 450. And then 458 is five more than 453, which is eight more than 450, which is right over here. So when I look at those three groups of numbers, 447, 453, and 458, I can see that two of those numbers would round up to five, and one of those numbers would round down to four. So what I need to do now is I need to write down each of those rounded amounts on this line here, 1B. I rounded 447 down to 400. and rounded the other two numbers to 500. Now, we have done some estimation, but we still don't have an action plan. What do I need to do with these numbers? Well, the goal was to make 1,200 bears in three hours. So in one hour they made 447, the second hour they made 453, the third hour they made 458. So this to me sounds like an addition problem. So my action plan is to take those numbers and add them together. Okay, so to my problem 1B, I'm going to continue. So here's where I write out my addition problem. I then added 400 plus 500 plus 500 so I look at that, 400 plus 500 plus 500. So our purposes here of rounding is to make this as simple as possible. So for a moment, I'm just going to ignore the extra zero. So really what I'm doing is I'm adding 4 plus 5 plus 5. Well, I know that 5 plus 5 gives me 10. And 10 plus 4 would give me 14. So that would mean that I would get 14 groups with an extra two zeros behind it, otherwise known as 1,400. So if I just look at that problem with the uh, digits in front of the hundreds place value, 4 plus 5 plus 5 gives me 14, otherwise known as 1,400. So back to the original problem. Did they make their goal of at least 1,200 bears? Well... 1,200 is smaller than 1,400, or 1,400 is above their intended goal. So the, to answer the question, did they meet their three-hour goal, the answer is yes, they did. So then they ask you, why did you choose this estimation strategy? So what they're asking you to do here is tell us why you rounded to the nearest 100. Well, it makes sense that you would round to the nearest 100 because each of the numbers were only in the hundreds. And the answer that you were looking for, did they get up to 1,200, was a round number with zeros and the tens and the ones place value. So they just wanted to know if you got 1,200 or 1,200 bears at least. So you might say something like, I rounded to the hundreds plus 
place value because all three numbers or I should say all three hourly amounts were in the hundreds. That's my friends is how I solve that problem. So let's go back to our ruckus strategy and figure out where we are. So we read the problem multiple times, we underlined the question, we circled the important information, we came up with the action plan, and then we solved the problem by, yes, establishing they did make their goal and we explained how. So that's why it's important for us to learn how to create estimate problems because when you are asked to uh, f solve for the exact amount uh, creating a rounded estimation uh, will help us understand whether or not we are close to the correct answer. Uh, this will become important in uh, lessons to uh, come because uh, we are going to be asked to uh, solve for the exact amount. Now I want you guys to try problem number two on your own. You're going to follow the same procedure. You're going to read the story problem. You're going to uh, underline the questions. You're going to circle the important information. You need to figure out, is this an addition or subtraction problem? And then I need you to solve it and explain how you did it. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, otherwise, we will talk again soon. Thank you.